don't do it, CeeLo. Hey fam, what's up? This is Robert Anton, Robert Anton here coming to you with your no frills commentary from a singer. We are watching The Voice tonight. It is the live quarterfinals part two. Tonight, Team Adam and Team CeeLo performed. And tomorrow night, while I'm thinking about it, Florence and the Machine performed tomorrow night for the results show. So make sure to check that out and we will find out who else is going home. They had instant eliminations again today. So both Adam and CeeLo had to choose somebody to send home. You know, in the beginning of the show, they were all giggly in the opening and stuff like that and laughing and back and forth. And, you know, they were saying there was an inside joke and all that different stuff. But I noticed that, like, like CeeLo had his fan out and and, and it, Christina kept fanning him and stuff. And I was like, this man just farted on live TV, you know, and he was talking about his gut or something. They said something about going with his gut and they were like, oh. He said, I was like, oh man, he just farted on live TV. Okay, so that's pretty funny. So they were all being children, uh, <laughs> which is cool, which is fun. It's good to see them have nice interactions together. So first up, we had Team CeeLo and Jamar Rogers did It's My Life by Bon Jovi. They set the stage on fire for him, right? Fire to the rain. <laughs> And I really liked that. I thought it was really interesting. I like how Jamar uses the stage and how he felt the song throughout his body. He just has such great movement when he's doing everything. So I, I really like how he was just feeling everything. Such an inspiring story and, and a heartfelt performance also. Not just a story, but a really good like gritty performance and I really enjoyed it. The audience was on their feet with major applause for a long time, you know, trying to calm them down so they could get in their uh, uh, comments and stuff like that. CeeLo laid some very flowery language on him, so I really don't think he'll be going home tonight, you know, I don't think he's gonna be sending him home. Break. So they came back to chat with Christina Milian and to talk with Jamar and James Masoni in the Sprint Lounge and uh, they're really pushing the inspirational story thing with Jamar and they had his mom talking about he didn't think he was gonna live till he was 30 and you know he's doing all kinds of destructive things I, I don't know what to say about it. it's just it, it's very touching and at the same time I don't want to get too much of it because I want it to be more about his performance than about his backstory so tell me what you guys think about that next up team Adam had Katrina Parker singing Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry it seemed to me she had a very good performance here uh, with lots of emotion and vocal control I just thought her, her hairstyle, I'm sorry, made her just look, when I first looked at her, it made her look so much older. Some people on uh, Twitter were saying, oh, you know, she's now trying to steal like Adele's whole look and everything. But I don't know. I just I just felt like it just, the way her hair was done, it just, you know, like I said, it made her look a lot older to me. Her eyes were shining and moist throughout the performance and she nailed the vocal really touching. So I enjoyed that. If you enjoyed my commentary, make sure to thumb this video up. Make sure to thumb it up for me. Let other people know that you are enjoying it, whether you agree with me or disagree. You know, we, we are here to enjoy and to talk about what happened on the show. Team CeeLo performs with their coach dancing in the streets. And the first thing I was like, didn't American Idol just do this song as one of their numbers? Okay, so whatever. Who do you think did it better? I like the throwback they did, like the opening. If you know what show they were spoofing, let me know in the comments. The only thing that really surprised me about this performance was James Bassoni surprised me because I didn't realize he had so much power in his vocal. And I was like, oh, work it out, James. He was like really coming up to everyone else's powerful thing. Because, you know, there's Jamar and Julie. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was really blowing it out just like everybody else. I didn't realize he could muster so much power. Next up, Team Adam had Matai performing I'm Like a Bird by Nelly Furtado. This song sounded pretty good in her voice, but she had some not so good moments with her pitch. I like the aerialist behind, but I did not like him on this performance because they didn't have any interaction going on so I was like what's the reason for them if she's not acknowledging or if they're not it just it was just a disconnect there when she went into her falsetto and back into her her main chest voice I just it was a disconnect there too also for me so I didn't think this performance was great Team CeeLo had James Masoni up next doing Just The Way You Are by Billy Joel. CeeLo called him Lady Killer number two. <laughs> of course, CeeLo was number one, and I guess Adam is now number three. His signature jacket, you know, was tricked out with studs tonight. I really like that. Very, like, it was twinkling off the lights and stuff like that. And he has such a nice, easy vocal. I enjoy the sound of his voice so much. I really also like some of the melody choices he made. And this performance... It just had me smiling. I just thought it was very sweet and tender. Um, Blake 
and Christina didn't think that it was great. Adam said he loved it. So Goody Mom reunites for a performance of their new single, Right to Win. Their costumes, <laughs> and especially the neon grills they had, were just off the chain for me. I was like, it's something I would expect from CeeLo, right? So I was just like, I was just sitting there like, Man, that is crazy. But I had a feeling that, you know, with the grills and everything like that, that they were all lip syncing this performance. I just didn't see how all that singing and stuff was going on with the teeth and the, the costume. But the other judges sitting there vibing to it, and they seemed to be loving it. So, you know, it was all for good fun. And the song was okay. I wasn't crazy about it. Team Adam was up next with Tony Luca doing Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. They gave this a really good setup. They really did. You know, they, they wouldn't say the name, you know, leading into it. It's going to be a big surprise and all that. And I think it came off very well. It was a surprise for him to be doing this song. I was like, wow. I think it may be one of those things where people either love it or hate it. But I loved it. I thought it was great. I liked the background girls dancing and singing on the stairs. And his vocal was really, really good. It was just a really good take on the song. The audience was going wild, just like they were for Jamal Rogers in the opening. And it was all good. Uh, Christina said she really enjoyed it. And she wanted to get Britney and Justin with them and get them all together here on The Voice for a reunion. I think that would be nice. Sounds like a little call out to me. So come on, The Voice, make it happen. Next up, Team CeeLo had Chester doing I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston. Her first note went off. And I didn't, I didn't think that boded well for the rest of the performance. But she did get back on. She picked it right back up and got on task, right? But when she got to her big part of the song, to me, it sounded like she had a cold. So, like, I don't know what was going on with her. But it was just, it was muted for some reason. It was way up there, I think, in her nose. And the key change for me was more hollered than sung. I just, I just didn't get into I think the song was a little too big for her. The judges gave her a bunch of praise. Christina and CeeLo thought she was great. But I just did not like it. What did you guys think of it? I was thinking maybe something was wrong with me or something like that. Maybe. But I just don't. I think the song handled her. She didn't handle the song. Team Adam was up next with Pip doing Somewhere Only We Know by Keen. Um, he started out at the piano. And it was all good, you know. But I... But I I wanted to like this performance, and I'm thinking there's something wrong with me. I'm thinking like, uh, am I am I going off? Am I getting tired of this or what? But I just, it just still, I don't even know what it was. There was just something that was just not there for me. I was like, it's okay, but it's not great. It was good, but decent, but it just wasn't. There was nothing out of the box with it for me. I didn't really enjoy it. And the ending, the ending was just off. It was just. Oh, I thought the ending was just terrible. I wrote, I think he's in danger tonight. Break. So next up, Team Adam and Adam Levine sing Instant Karma by John Lennon. Adam was on the drums, Pip was on the keys, Tony was on guitar. It was really like an old school jam session. And I just, I thought it was a lot of fun. The only thing that surprised me was Adam didn't sing it at all. He didn't even have a mic you know, he had a mic on his drums, but he didn't have a vocal mic for him to sing. It was a pretty good performance, and I enjoyed it. Team CeeLo had Juliet Sims next singing You See Me Crying by Errol Smith. And she had on wings for some reason to start. And I was just like, even when the lights came up, I was like, what is that? The dancer with wings or something? It was her when the lights came up. And it just had me laughing. I was just like, CeeLo. <laughs> and it, that is all CeeLo. Um, she is definitely intense and powerful. She has really good control. But at one point, just a little bitty hiccup in her vocals. It like went out. She was singing and it went out and she it came right back in. Um, she had she controlled it well. She did well. She she just barreled through this performance. I thought that she killed it. The ending with the feathers falling from the sky was kind of crazy. But it was just, it was a great performance. Unlike the last two, I thought it was a really great performance. I really enjoyed it. Oh, and one thing I mentioned was CeeLo seemed to really be having fun in this episode. The last two episodes, he just really seemed off. He seemed down. He seemed out of it. So it was really good to see him back into it and back having a good time for me. Instant eliminations were up next, and each coach had to immediately eliminate one of their team members. Team CeeLo was up first, and CeeLo sent home James Masoni. Oh, no, not James. Oh, no, no, don't do it, CeeLo. Oh, I'm sorry. From the performances, I was hoping that he was going to send home Chessa, but whatever. What did you think of that elimination? Juliet, Chessa, and Jamar go up for public vote. Team Adam was up next for instant elimination, and Adam sent home Pip. 
Matai, Luca, and Katrina go up for the public vote. This is Robert Anton here. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'm out.